Hi there, you are joining me at the Goodwill on two different occasions. This first trip I went with Jenny and we popped in real quick and there were some interesting pieces. This uh, very large heavy glass vase for $9.99 and then I noticed they had another teapot. This one had its lid. It was marked $9.99. I thought it was cute with the little bird's nest on the top for the lid. And then on the second shelf, there was kind of like a gazebo shaped teapot. I thought this was very sweet too. Had an Asian look to it slightly with that handle, kind of an art deco look to it. And it was also, you guessed it, $9.99. That sticker t told me that it was probably made by Otagiri. That shape of the sticker, the gold foil sticker is usually Ot Otagiri items. And then this was also $9.99. <laughs> and you got a nice set of four. Four dinner plates, salad plates, and bowls. And on the back, it was marked Artistic Accents. It's a nice little set. And then below that, they had some blue lusterware pieces that were marked individually. And those were most likely made in Japan. And then over here, they had another box of some items. What'd you find? Nothing. Mm -hmm. This is really pretty. This is really, really nice. That's so pretty. Look at that. I like the shape of the handle. It looks like a ribbon. So pretty. Let's see. What does this say? Room Creative. Creative Room Olive Signature. Mm, two olive trays. Rotary Club. And we see this is Pensbury Pottery. Oh, it is Pensbury Pottery. You find. Ooh, a virtual reality headset. Mm -hmm. Seems to double fold. Here. Price tag in there. Let's see, some nice little bits. Oh, they're plastic. Two ninety nine. And these are plastic too. At home. Look how patriotic that is. Whoa! There's one for you, one for me. $3.99. There's a whole bunch of treats. Let's see the glass one. A little Orphan Annie mug. That's a little Orphan Annie. There's only one. I wonder if there was obviously a set, but I wonder what the other ones look like. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Wow. <laughs> it's a flower frog. And it's some kind of weird butter dish here. Designed in Australia, but made in China. That's $6.99, it's pretty. $6.90, oh, it's Avon. That's a cute little... Cupid on there. Like a little lemon baller. I know he's been here a little while. He's Aww. so cute with his big eyes. Aww. These are cute too, though. These little mice are cute. They have fork and cheese. Those are cute. This little cat is cute too. Like a magician. And then this little guy here. He had something broken on his back. These are neat. It's big cookie jars. These are cute. What's this thing? Someone made some art. Jenny just said, What the heck? It reminds me of a monkfish. <laughs> a monkfish. A blubfish. A blubfish. Someone made that in art class. $3.99 in 2002. It's good. 
kind of weird. I kind of like it though. <laughs> Jocelyn always says weird cells. It looks, it looks like a bloodfish. It does look like a bloodfish. Keys. It's a big leaf. JF made that. We have all the lighthouses up here. This Cape May lighthouse. I think this is a Cape May. Yep, Cape May. This one is Fire Island. Minotes Ledge, I think. And Portland Head, Maine. Uh, $6.99. So the thimbles. I'm surprised they don't have this bag up front. Thimbles, yeah. It's cute. Oh, it's a kappa? What's a kappa? I don't know. What is a kappa? Does it turn around? A kappa is a yokai. Oh, it's a Pokemon. What's a no, it's tag? not a Pokemon. It's, it's not? a yokai. It's oh, like yokai a... watch. Right? Yep, like you're from yokai. Let me see the tag. Yeah, no, this right here. Oh, sorry. They're giant fuzzy animals. Hug them. Squishable. Oh, this is what my Goma Corgi is. Oh, okay. It's cute. Oh, that's only four ninety nine for that giant panda from Hershey. Okay, it's cute. Well, that is cute. Goes on your desk. Six ninety nine. Oh, it's more current. Okay, I thought it was one of those pink by number ones. This is neat. That's neat. It's a glass door. It's only nine ninety nine. Not cool looking. You could display all kinds of things in there. And then I realized when I got home that it, I didn't have a lot for a video. So I decided to go back on another day to the same Goodwill to see what else we can find. In the meantime, Susie was not impressed that I was leaving and she decided to stay right on the sofa. I thought this was really pretty. I usually don't pick up clear glass, but the sparkle on this was so nice. I believe that's a daisy and button pattern. I don't know how old it is, but I believe that pattern in the older pieces are called daisy and button. And then I really like this hobnail vase with the wavy edge to it. I think both pieces would be really pretty if you put something colorful inside them to display them. And the prices weren't off the wall because lately the prices here have been off the wall. If you saw my Instagram, you saw the box of Japanese lusterware. It was only five pieces and they had it for $74.99, I believe. Anyway, this was a vintage piece. This was made in America from 1979. Unfortunately, they had $10 on it. I thought it was kind of funny, but a little bit pricey for me. And then I pulled this out and I thought, am I having deja vu? Am I pulling out another Viking glass <laughs> candle holder? It wasn't, it's obviously clear glass. I think it's Mikasa, I'm not sure. But regardless, I think it's really, really cool. Again, the, that clear shine. Let's bring back clear glass. Let's make clear glass a thing. <laughs> I was by myself and there was a lot of people in the store, so I did not talk while I shopped. That is why I'm talking to you now. They are slowly adding more cats to this end cap. This, there was this little Siamese kitty cat and then this blue vase was handmade. You could see the pontal mark on the bottom. It was a very pretty blue. And I was moving things around, seeing what else they had hidden. Then I noticed these two big, huge, giant centerpieces. They were only $6.99 a piece. And then down here, they had added some new things since the last time I had been here. I thought this was really neat. It had a weird kind of thing how she was holding a cone, it looked like. And then it said 12 Days of Christmas, and it's from Pottery Barn. And then I always like to look at the scales. And this obviously had age. So I did take the time to look this up. I like that it was yellow. And then it was funny because I, when I put it in my cart later, a lady said, oh, I have that same scale, but mine's white. So I like the yellow. It's nice, bright, and cheery. It would be a neat addition to someone's kitchen. This was also nice. It was made in the USA. It was $5 asparagus plate. Or you could put something else on the asparagus plate. Something else. Pickles maybe would work. This was a nice little spoon rest. Ready for summertime. I always think of summertime and watermelons. Just giving you more of a look at the shelves since I had just been here a couple days ago. Seeing if there's anything that you would like me to pick up. 
let's see. Oh, up here, they have this cute little creamer and sugar set. And there's the creamer. And it said Sango Stone, and it is the butterfly pattern. And I always love it. And then there was another piece. I think that was Mikasa, um, if I remember. And then I had picked that up earlier in the other video. <laughs> but I thought this was a nice little set. And you know how I like to pick up matching creamers and sugars. But I looked up sold prices on eBay, and it wasn't going for a huge amount, so I left that there. This reminded me of Ukrainian or Russian. It obviously doesn't have the Cyrillic letters to it, but that kind of was given off of that kind of Polish, Eastern European vibe. I wasn't quite sure exactly where that stein was from. They had some newer things that I hadn't seen before, so I was kind of taking my time looking at all the things that are on the lower shelves. This was a sweet little set. This was also by Mikasa. Had the whole children's set, it looked like. And then around the corner, this set of glasses. This was here when I was with Jenny. These were not. These were marked Marsh. They were a nice set of four tumblers, handmade. They were all marked Marsh. I had to make sure, though. Guess what this one said? Yep, Marsh. <laughs> I did not look at the fourth one. But getting back to the glassware over here on the left, it had a neat shape to it, and I don't know if they're old or not, and it, they even had the decanter and then these taller glasses. And then I went into another aisle, and someone's belt collection, I thought, are these dirty, or are they supposed to be this sandy color, and I really think they're dirty. I did have the urge to buy one just to clean it up, because I, I do like cleaning up things, <laughs> but there was none of the bells kind of caught my fancy that there there was really cool looking ones they were uh, a couple of them still had the stickers of marked made in Taiwan so they did have some age to them but there was nothing that really stood out you know like an owl or a mushroom or some well, there was a clown but uh nothing really quirky or kitschy that made me want to buy a dirty bell and bring it home and clean it up for you but oh well these were also there last time I remember seeing those earlier in the earlier video I looked to see if there was any Christmas precious moments because I know the Christmas precious moments sell very well but there were not there was this cute little frame with the butterfly on it for $1.99 they don't color coordinate anything anymore in this store so you really have to dig around and see what they have they kind of are trying to sort it, I think, by things. They have a whole vase section and a mug section and plate section. And then I noticed this because I like to pick up stitchery kits. And then do you see what's behind it? All of, all of these curlers. Someone donated all of their curlers. But that was kind of funny. And then I came across this little bag of figurines. And it was marked $9.99. And they were little children in international clothing or um, you know there's a little Spanish or maybe from Spain in traditional dress I could not find any markings on them if say it if they said Japan or if they were more contemporary because I couldn't find any marks on them I did take a picture to Google Lens one couldn't really find anything so that is why I left the bag there and moved on there is an end cap here with a whole bunch of Easter items on it this was very lightweight it was originally sold at Home Goods. I think it was supposed to be like faux paper mache. We have a little end cap of Easter items. This is when the lady was telling me that um, she had the same scale as me. So that's why there was a little pause and looking around. And I didn't really see anything in the Easter section. There's a cute little stuffed animal. And then when I turned to look at the stuffed animals, Look, they had raised it up into a little canopy, and they've added a Hershey chocolate bar, and that's only $3.99, which is a deal. And look, the panda's still there for $4.99, because you know those are expensive. If you saw the video of Jenny and me when we went to Hershey for the Stars on Ice, they're kind of pricey, those stuffed animals. I did text Jimmy to see if I should get this. He said yes, <laughs> and I think it's because um, the, they are no longer called the Redskins. And so I did pick that up under his advisement. Here was an, kind of an older telephone. And I thought this little mouse shelf, oh no, pig. Pig shelf sitter was, was super cute. And then I was wondering if this was a butter mold. I don't believe it was. It was marked like a reproduction 
of something else, but I'm not quite sure what that was for. And then here we are looking together on the shelves. Up here was a pair of salt and pepper shakers that were indi individually priced at $4.99. There were people around, so I was not really showing you the fish there at first. And then there was one maybe centerpiece from a table from a birthday party or a wedding. This was awfully cute. I think it was supposed to be a cow, a little calf shelf sitter. I think that was a calf. And that was a Mary figurine, but I cut off her head because I was trying not to catch the people's faces on the other side of the aisle. Hope you understand. <laughs> I know you do. Um, these are really cool. They're plastic, so you'd have to be careful when you put them onto your wall. But they're from the 70s, and I thought they were fabulous. So that's the only reason why I picked those up, because they're from the 70s and they're fabulous. This I also looked at that says Marbell or Maribel and there's a whole bunch of figurines that you can find with that name on it and then there's a whole bunch of stuff on this shelf that we're going to look at so there was an embossing thing there were these film canisters and then my eye spied this I believe this is Polish a little trinket box it's heart shaped I thought that was really cool so we're gonna look at that and then I saw this little trinket dish in the back I thought that was sweet I peeled this, the price sticker back and I believe it said made in Taiwan, but I wanted to know what this embossing said. So I got out one of my receipts that I had from the post office and it turns out it is a person's um, address from California. So I am going to blot it out because I don't know if the person is still alive or if her relatives are alive and who wants your address on a video. So that's why I kind of checkered it out. But um, then we moved on to the film canisters, and I did take the time to look up these film canisters. I think they originally sold at Sears because that's what the ones, the one uh, sticker, either the sticker or the canister said it. But they weren't uh, terribly high sellers, but they were super cool. Someone who is into old movies would probably definitely like those. And then I also looked this up as well, uh, just because you could tell it was old. I couldn't find a year on it but you put your earrings here and then it looked like you turn the pages and then the back you could put your necklaces and stuff and I looked that up and that wasn't a very high seller uh, reseller but I still thought it was cute and it was fun to look at Mrs. Osborne donated her apples to Goodwill the green one was really neat it was marked made in Taiwan if I remember correctly and then Mrs. Osborne's wasn't marked and oh this was different looking because it looked like there was a canister inside the canister and then I read it it's from Pure One Imports it's a musical tin if this cat didn't have so much paint loss I probably would have picked it up it didn't have any chips or cracks but so much paint loss on it and then here were some dog toys and Susie already has too many dog toys, so I could hear Jimmy and Jenny telling me, Susie has enough dog toys, don't get her anymore, but they were awfully cute because it, uh, it was chicken and waffles. <laughs> I wanted to see, it, well, I had to move this out of the way, but I wanted to see the cutting board with the chickens on it because it looked like someone had painted it, and to me it looked like it had some age, but then when I turned it over, I could see underneath the two Goodwill price tags that there was another sticker so that is why I left it there. And that's going to end our trip to Goodwill. Here is everything that I picked up. That little bulldog you did not see me pick up because it was in the case when I was checking out. So I did not film that. But here's everything else that I picked up on the two trips to Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video and are having a great weekend. It is very sunny here after rain for a couple days, but still very cold. But that's to be expected because it is February. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel by liking and subscribing. And I'll see ya.